They're coming up in game uh, game 13. Yeah, that's scheduled next game in here. Got to go over this time. That's Farley. Nice set. Here's Kastner. Off the block and in. Mason Kastner makes it 12 to 9 or 14 to. No, wait a minute. They're giving that point to Bel Air. I, I, I'm not sure about that score. They've got 14 7 on the board. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'll have to assume that's correct at 14 to 7. Looked like that was a Haverty Grace point. Yeah, it should have been. Farley gets it over. Here's a set. Here comes Kastner. Kastner. I think he got the net. Oh, the same Bel Air got it. I don't know about that call. The officials will confer. Captain uh, Farley is going over to talk. Yeah, I'm not sure on that call. I didn't even see a Bel Air player up on the net. Chris Simmons, the official, the up official, they give the uh, point to Haverty Grace to make it 15 to 7. Haverty out. Haverty Grace ball. Haverty Grace point 16 to 7 now. What a run for the uh, Warriors. Yeah, it's not. Bel Air's taking a quick timeout. A play like that can really uh, mentally impact any team. Larry Somos calling his team over and discussing this issue with them. Larry, excellent phys ed coach down at Magnolia Middle School. Uh, Larry's been coaching, gosh, as long as I've been around uh, volleyball, probably 10 or more years. Uh, at least, yeah. And right now, Larry, what he's telling his team is that that point's done and over with. Get over it, move on. We need to get points back one at a time. Going over a couple key strategies. Uh, he may have found a weakness and, and having a grace as a return team, so they may be focusing on trying to hit it to one player, make that player play it, or even make their setter play a ball to make another player become the setter. We talked about David Beck, again, the Beck volleyball playing brothers, and uh, they're all tall. They all are very angular. Uh, they all are just tremendous athletes. He made some plays off air that we didn't see that I didn't think could be made. One diving out of bounds, hit it over his head, and back into the opposing court. He, he just has that it. That sometimes in many sports you see these athletes, they just have it. And it's, mm -hmm. it, as a coach, you, just, you can't coach it. They either, mm -hmm. The players either got it or they don't. See what the Bobcats can do about getting back into it. Farley starts it. So he's had a great game, has Aaron Farley. Middle hitter, just a junior. That was a design play there on that return. Coming out of the timeout, Larry Somos, uh, you saw him walking on your screen there just uh, at the bottom. Kastner, <laughs> what a hit. He's just getting so high over the net that the block, you don't often see a player hit over the block at this yeah. caliber. I mean, in college and, and internationally you do, but in high school it, that doesn't happen often. Mason is about six foot six or so. He's a basketball player, plays on the Warrior basketball team. That's a great shot. That's little Kyle Johnson, sophomore setter. I've been so impressed with his uh, play. Joe West, I think his name was. And Charlie Green seems to have that kind of attitude as an official, you know, keep everything uh, above board. Oh, yeah. And you need that. You need to have this can be returned and is. Oh, Andy Hoffman, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. I was identifying this Charlie Green. That's Andy Hoffman. And Andy's been around for quite a while. He, he's actually the signer of officials, so um, he does keep the game under wraps. He expects to be uh, shown respect as he will respect the coaches. 20 to 9. Point for Bel Air. Are they saying point for Havity Grace? No, the point goes to Bel Air at 20 to 10 now. Sorry, Andy, I misidentified uh, Mr. Hoffman, the referee over here. Beautiful save there. What was that called, Ralph? I believe Mr. Hoffman calling them eight, eight, half of the Grace was in the net when they went up on the double block. We talked earlier about the skills that are required for this game. It is a thinking man's game as well as a, an athlete's game. 
Absolutely. It's, it's not just all pounding the ball and hitting it back and forth. There's a lot of strategy, a lot of thinking, a lot of placement. It's 20 to 12. Bob, you coached baseball and volleyball, kind of an unusual combination. <laughs> uh, is there a reason why you were involved in both those sports? Well, baseball, I, was, I played baseball in college. Volleyball, when I came to Falston, the volleyball coach at the time was looking for someone to help him and assist him in their program, and I volunteered to do that. Uh, the following year, he uh, took a position in Pennsylvania, and I was left with, with the reins of the Falston program. And had to learn the game as you went, and of course, great success, winning, what, five tournaments? And yes. Probably a like number of individual seasons or, or regular seasons during your eight years there. Yeah, I, I, we, had, we had tremendous athletes up there at Falston and, and, and had, a, had a good stretch of athletes come through. 21-13 is the score. Nice play by Beller Stephen Ashman. There's that man, Mr. Beck. Mm. Good diving save by Stephen Ooh. Ashman. Big kill there by Mr. Beck. Yeah, I think I'll just call him Mr. Beck from now on. He is a, in a class by himself in terms of the ability that he has. Yeah, he is Heaven Grace's go-to guy, to say the least. David is just a junior, too. I hate to break that to <laughs> people, but he'll be back next year. You can't forget about Mason, though. That was another kill on his part. Mason Kastner? Correct. Mason is a senior. I'll, maybe he'll make people feel a little better. 23 to 13 is the score. Haverty Grace leading by 10. Trying to continue on the loser's bracket. Oh. That'll be 24 to 13. The unfortunate part is if Bel Air loses, and right now I'm down by 12, one point to game, that's it for them. They'll be out for the tournament. Yep. Quick substitution there. Coming out was the libero. Tyler Abbott. Nice one ball. That is a nice dig by Matt Kenner. It's not a dig, but a kill. 24-14. Kyle Johnson there, just, again, the one ball is where literally the setter just lets it roll off his hands just above the tape on the net. The timing has to be crucial on that hit. Fighting for their lives. Kastner keeps it alive now. Still alive, 24 to 15. Bobcats having lost to Seamilton Wright, they put them in the loser's bracket. That's going to be long, oh. and that will end the tournament for the Bel Air Bobcats. Their season will come to an end. Again, unlike other sports in Hartford County, there is no regionals, there's no state playoffs. This is the end of the year for them. And their season will end with a 25-15 to 15 loss to Haverty Grace. The plus side for the Warriors, uh, yep, they're still in it. They've now what played, they've won four games after losing that first game to North Hartford. They defeated Aberdeen, Hartford Tech, and now they defeated Bel Air, so I guess that's...